I want to say that I read one book at a time because that's a healthy, calm way to be, but I, I do quite often have different things. I love the changes of the season, so I like the drama of the shorter nights, the, the change in nature, um, and I like an excuse to curl up at home occasionally and be with my family. For winter especially, I love the idea of um, a Russian novel like Anna Karenina or even War and Peace. Um, I return to Thomas Hardy. I, um, yeah, I love all his novels, but maybe to me, whether it's Tolstoy or Hardy, you know, those novelists that celebrate nature and that nature really is a character, um, whether that's um, Dorset for Thomas Hardy or or Moscow, those are kind of very evocative landscapes and cityscapes are kind of what I'm drawn to in winter. I'm definitely in a prolific reading stage now, but I, I think when, when my kids were tiny, I had definitely a couple of years where I'd maybe read one book a month if I was lucky, because, you know, life suddenly changed so dramatically, but now I'm back in my groove. I give a lot of books away and it gives me great pleasure passing on what I've just finished to a friend. I love that, that to me is so much of the joy of reading is to share something you love with a friend and that makes me feel kind of lighter and freer. I have always loved Gabriel Garcia Marquez, my favourite being Love in the Time of Cholera. Um, I've already mentioned Thomas Hardy but that's a big emotional read for me. I really love Salman Rushdie's writing as well. I've always found him really inspiring. And I picked The Moor's Last Sigh as my personal favorite. Yeah, I'm definitely drawn to magical realism. Um, Marquez probably being my first introduction into that world. But I, I would say that Jeanette Winterson fits into that category as well. Um, I'm drawn to the story and the characters and you know the characters that stay with me over years. And I'm absolutely, um, an old school book girl. It's just much more relaxing and um, separating for me to go back to the, the written page.